Starting here at Duncan Park, a new branch of the International Centre for Birds of Prey. Originally started in Gloucestershire 45 years ago, we're spreading our wings and moving north. It's all a bit of a work in progress just at the moment. It's a building site and we're knee deep in mud. But we're heading to be opening for later on in 2012. And uh, fingers crossed if the weather holds, that's exactly what we will be doing. The first thing you see is the end of our hawk walk. This is a line of compartments that will go on here for some of our trained birds. And then as you pan left, you see my digger and my dumper. And then as you Because you're doing a lot of the work yourself, aren't you? You've yeah, got some I'm, local contractors. Exactly. Here. We've got uh, we've got uh, some guys from Kirby Moorside here. Yes, Sid and uh, Co. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, uh, I am a builder myself. Hopefully, this is going to be my last building job that I do, uh, as I as I turn over to running this instead. Uh, but yeah, so it's. Uh, it, this is uh, this is my world, I'm afraid. Mud and diggers and dumpers. And At what the have moment, you. but what a transformation we'll see over the next few months. I hope so. Okay, so what, what have we got around here then? This Charles? is another uh, line of compartments for our hawk walk. It'll form a courtyard area here. We're stood very much in the in the heart of the whole site. Uh, and as we as we keep going left, past the uh, past the old tree stump, you can see that's one base there. There's another one just further below it, and those are two Avery blocks. There'll be nine Averys there altogether. A small falcon block, and the one that we can see closest to us, that'll be for some of our trained owls. And the, the, the base that we're actually standing on just at the moment, this will be our weighing room, our food preparation area, and our sick quarters for hopefully our very few sick birds that we have of our own. But what we should have an application to the National Park, and we explained what, what we're about uh, and what we're planning on doing. And, um, and, and they recommended that we apply for a grant to cover the, 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 everything that we do. So the public education, the conservation, the captive breeding of birds of prey, the courses that we hold here. We have a volunteer programme here, so we've already got people coming and volunteering and helping out and getting involved. And it, the, the Sustainable Development Fund covers not only that, but also some of the green building techniques that we're using. So we're using um, uh, special uh, insulation, we're using a hemp straw insulation, we're using a heat pump to heat buildings and what have you, and we're using an awful lot of local materials as far as we can as well. Brilliant. Can you just tell us a little bit more about this volunteering because, you know, anybody watching this might want to get involved. What are the opportunities? Well, the opportunities at the moment are slightly more limited than they, uh, they, they will be in the future. However, if there is anybody 
who would like to come and volunteer to do some labouring, some bricklaying and some banging in some nails, you would be very, very welcome and we'll be very grateful for you coming too. In the future, our volunteer programme is, is, uh, is slightly more two-way. There's no birds on site just at the moment, so there isn't a great deal we can give back other than our gratitude. But in the future, we're, and our, our site, we'll be copying the, uh, the techniques we use in our site down in Gloucestershire, where volunteers come in and they spend the day cleaning aviaries or mowing lawns or weeding flower beds and what have you. Right. But then towards the end of the day, they get an opportunity to feed a bird on the fist or maybe to fly a Harris hawk or whatever stage that they're at. So they do get to learn something and, and to be part of something too. And, and and so as well as volunteers, you're obviously going to have paid staff here. How many members of staff do you think you'll be having to run? We haven't actually quite decided just at the moment, but we're looking at probably three members of bird staff and then one member of staff to run our shop and entrance area. Right. OK, great. Let's go and have a look at the other buildings. Well, we've come down into the old Christmas tree plantations here that I know lots of local people will be familiar with. The first one we're looking at that the chaps are on with at the moment, that's our eagle barn. There'll be nine eagle aviaries in there. Um, and uh, they've had a bit of an, uh, an entertaining this mor uh, entertaining morning this morning, getting the uh, the telehandler stuck and nearly turning it over. Oh, but, uh, but we've pulled it out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dave Snowden, for pulling that out for okay. us. Okay. And then panning further left, uh, further right rather, we've got our hawk and kite farm. Similar sort of idea. Nine Avery's in there. Tell and us what the construction is going to be. Obviously, you've got a steel frame, but what's it going to look like? It's a steel. They, they will look like uh, hopefully agricultural barns. So any any exterior walling will either be mesh or it will be York, timber Yorkshire boarding. They're all solid roofs to keep the birds nice and warm and dry and safe. Uh, and so the, the public walk around the outside, looking in at the mesh, and the birds have a nice, have three solid walls. Right. Birds of prey don't like people going behind them. Okay. So if, if you give them a, a sort of cul-de-sac to sit in, and they can look out, they feel nice and safe. Right, brilliant. And then round here to the well, sunk yeah, back a bit, slightly right, smaller. That's a uh, that's going to be our education centre, and there'll be staff accommodation in there. For our manageress who's going to come and live here. Oh, we're going to live here, right? Yeah, someone will be on site all the time. It's not the sort of uh, not the sort of thing that you want to just lock up and leave no, at the end sure, of the day. Sure, sure. Christmas trees earlier on because this is where on Duncan Park people come for their Christmas trees every year. Is that going to disappear? It is. It's known as Christmas Tree Cottage because I'm sure many people came here and yep. they bought their Christmas trees from exactly here. The Christmas trees will still be being sold from Duncan Park. Oh great. It won't be done from exactly here. I'm very much hoping it'll be done from the Parkland Centre uh, where hopefully the parking will be better and there'll be less mud than there has been in previous Christmases. Fantastic. Well that's good news and it's good news to see how rapid the development is. You might not think it is but I was only up here two or three weeks ago and I think there's been a heck of a lot so I'll come back uh, in two or three weeks time and perhaps we'll see the see how you're getting on. You're very welcome to. Cheers Charlie. Thanks.